According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black. Yellow, black. Yellow, black. Yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Berry, <laughs> breakfast is ready. Coming. Hang on a second. Hello? Barry? Adam? Can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect, rec a perfect report card, all B's. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going here. You got lint on your fuzz. Ow, that's me. Wave to us. We'll be in row 118,000. Bye. Barry, I told you, stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that fuzz gel? A little. Special day. Graduation. Never thought I'd make it. Three days grade school, three days high school. Those were awkward. Three days college. I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked around the hive. You did come back different. Hi, Barry. Artie, growing a mustache, looks good. Hear about Frankie? Yeah. You going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everybody knows, sting someone, you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel, such a hothead. I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. I love this incorporating an amusement park into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Boy, quite a bit of pomp under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are. Be men. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, faculty, distinguished bees, please welcome Dean Buzzwell. Welcome, New Hive City, graduating class of 915. That concludes our ceremonies and begins your career at Honey Ind Industries. Will we pick our job today? I heard it's just orientation. Heads up, here we go. Keep your hands and antennas inside the tram at all times. Wonder what it'll be like? A little scary. Welcome to Honey, a division of Honey Company. And a part of the Hexagon Group. This is it. Wow. Wow. We know that you, as a bee, have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins with our valiant pollen jocks near the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is automatically color-coded, scent-adjusted, and bubble-contoured into this soothing sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glow you know as honey. That girl was hot. She's my cousin. She is? Yes, we're all cousins. Right, you're right. At Honey, we constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee excellence, existence. These bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Not enough. Here we have our latest advancement, the Krellman. What does it do? Catches that little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it. Saves us millions. Can anyone work on the Krellman? Of course. Most bee jobs are small ones, but bees know 
that every small job, if it's well done, means a lot. But choose carefully because you'll stay in the job you pick for the rest of your life. The, sh- the same job for the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that bees, as a species, haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you'll just work us to death? We'll sure try. Wow, that blew my mind. What's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever? That's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in life. But Adam, how could they never have told us that? Why would you question anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functioning society on earth. You think that maybe things work a little too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force is on approach. Wait a second, check it out. Hey, those are pollen jocks. Wow, I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey, jocks. Hi, jocks. You guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they were. I don't know. Their day's not planned. Outside the hive, flying who knows where, doing who knows what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Right. Look, that's more pollen than you and I will ever see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Bees make too much of it. Perhaps. Unless you're wearing it and the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies? Aren't they our cousins too? Distant, distant. Look at those two. Couple of hive harries. Let's have fun with them. It must be dangerous being a pollen jock. Yeah, once a bear pinned me against a mushroom. He had a paw on my throat, and with the other, he was slapping me. Oh my. I thought I'd never, I never thought I'd knock him out. What were you doing during this? Trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. We're hitting a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry! A puddle jump for us. But maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not. We're going to 0900 at J Gate. What do you think, Buzzy Boy? Are you B enough? I might be. It all depends on what 0900 means. Hey, honey. Dad, you look surprised to me. You decide what you're interested in? Well, there's a lot of choices. But you only get one. Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you about steering. You grab that stick and you just move it around and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. You were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Janet, your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. Barry, you are so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stirrer. You're going to be a stirrer? No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have. I could say anything right now. I'm gonna get an ant tattoo. Let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax, shave my antenna, shack up with a grasshopper, get a gold tooth and call everybody dog. I'm so proud. 
We're starting work today. Today's the day. Come on, all the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen counting, stunt bee, pouring, stirrer, front desk, hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on. Two left. One of them's yours. Congratulations. Step to the side. What did you get? Picking crud out. Stellar. Wow. Couple of newbies? Yes, sir. Our first day. We are ready. Make your choice. You want to go first? No, you go. Oh my, what's available? Restroom attendance open, not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting the Krellman? Sure, you're on. I'm sorry, the Krellman just closed out. Wax monkeys always open. The Krellman opened up again. What happened? A bee died. Makes an opening, see? He's dead. Another dead one. Deadly. Deadified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. That's life. Oh, this is so hard. Heating, cooling, stunt bee, pourer, stirrer, humming, inspector number seven, lint coordinator, stripe super supervisor, mite wrangler, berry. What do you think I should? Berry? Berry! All right, we've got the sunflower patch in quadrant nine. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out? Out where? Out there. Oh no, I have to before I go to work for the rest of my life. You're gonna die. You're crazy. Hello? Another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on 83rd that gets their roses today. Hey guys, look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold it, son. Flight deck's restricted. It's okay, Lou. We're gonna take him up. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? Sign here. Just initial that. Thank you. Okay. You got a rain advisory today. And as you all know, bees cannot fly in rain. So be careful. As always, Watch your brooms, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears, and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it, babbling like a cicada. That's awful. And a reminder for you rookies, be law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. All right, launch positions. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Buzz, 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 black and yellow, hello. You ready for this hot shot? Yeah, yeah, bring it on. Wind, check. Antenna, check. Nectar pack, check. Wings, check. Stinger, check. Scared out of my shorts, check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. Pound those petunias. You striped stem suckers. All of you, drain those flowers. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So blue. I feel so fast and free. Box kite. Wow, flowers. This is a blue leader. We have roses visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses. 30 degrees, Roger. Bring it around. Stand up to the side, kid. It's got a bit of a kick. That is one nectar collector. Ever see pollination up close? No, sir. I pick up some pollen here, sprinkle it over here, maybe a dash over there, a pinch on that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen power. More pollen, more flowers, more nectar, more honey for us. Cool. I'm picking a lot of bright yellow. Could be daisies. Don't we need those? Copy that visual. Wait, one of these flowers seems to be on the move. Say again? You're reporting a moving flower? Affirmative. That was on the line. This is the coolest. What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. 
It smells good. Not a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy. Chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. My sweet lord of bees. Candy brain, get off there. Problem. Guys, this could be bad. Affirmative. Very close. Gonna hurt. Mama's little boy. You're way out of your position, rookie. Coming in at you like a missile. Help me. I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You can start packing up, honey, because you're about to eat it. Yowzer. Gross. There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, bee. He's back here. He's going to sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinked. Spray him, granny. What are you doing? Wow, the tension level out here is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Can't fly in the rain. Can't fly in the rain. Can't fly in the rain. Mayday, mayday. Be going down. Ken, could you close the window, please? Ken, could you close the window, please? Check out my resume. I made it into a fold-out brochure. You see? Folds out. Oh no, more humans. I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time. This time. This time. This time. This. Drapes. That is diabolical. It's fantastic. It's got all my special skills, even my top 10 favorite movies. What's number one? Star Wars? Nah, I don't go for that kind of stuff. No wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I leave for a job interview, they're flabbergasted. Can't believe what I say. There's the sun. Maybe that's a way out. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first I thought it was just me. Wait, stop. B, stand back. Those are winter boots. Wait, don't kill him. You know I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Why does his life have less value than yours? Why does his life have any less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. My brochure. There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's an allergic thing. Put that resume on your put that on your resume brochure. My whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. Knocking someone out is also a special skill. Right. Bye, Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week? Yogurt night? Sure, Ken. You know, whatever. You could put some carrot chips on there. Bye. Supposed to be less calories. Bye. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. All right, here goes. Nah. What would I say? I could really get in trouble. It's a B law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No. Yes. No. Do it. I can't. How should I start? You like jazz? No, that's no good. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. Hi. I'm sorry. You're talking. Yes, I know. You're talking. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's fine. I know I'm dreaming. But I don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. I am. And I'm not supposed to be doing this, but they were all trying to kill me. And if it wasn't for you, I had to thank you. It's just how I was raised. I'm talking with a bee. Yeah, I'm talking with a bee. And the bee is talking to me. I just want to say I'm grateful. I'll leave now. Wait, how did you learn to do that? What? The talking thing. Same way you did, I guess. Mama, Dada, honey, you pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah. 
Bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we have to deal with. Anyway, can I get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble. It takes two minutes. It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want rum cake? I shouldn't. Have some. No, I shouldn't. Come on. I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms. Where? These stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you have. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you all right? No. He's making the tie in the cab as they're flying up Madison. He finally gets there. He's run. He runs up the steps into the church. The wedding is on. I and he says watermelon. I thought you said Guatemalan. Why would I marry a watermelon? Is that a bee joke? That's the that's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So what are you gonna do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive, but I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. You do? My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. Our new queen was just elected with the same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look, that's my hive right there. See it? You're in Sheep Meadow. Yes, I'm right off the Turtle Pond. No way. I know that area. I lost a toe ring there once. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. You all right, ma'am? Oh yeah, fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry, I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up the rest of my life. Are you? Can I take a plate? Can I take a piece of this with me? Sure. Here, have a crumb. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Well then, I guess I'll see you around, or not. Okay, Barry. And thank you so much again for before. Oh, that—that that was nothing. Well, not nothing. But anyway, this can't possibly work. He's all set to go. We might as well try it. Okay, Dave. Pull the chute. Sounds amazing. It was amazing. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans. I can't believe you were with humans. Giant, scary humans. What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy. They eat crazy giant things. They drive crazy. Do they try and kill you like on TV? Some of them, but some of them don't. How do you get back, Poodle? You did it, and I'm glad. You saw whatever you wanted to see. You had your experience. Now you can pick out your job and be normal. Well, well, well. I met someone. You did. Was she beeish? A wasp? Your parents will kill you. No, no, no. Not a wasp. Spider. I'm not attracted to spiders. I know it's the hottest thing with eight legs and all. I can't get by that face. So who is she? She's human. No, no, that's B law. You wouldn't break a B law. Her name's Vanessa. Oh boy, she's so nice, and she's a florist. Oh no, you're dating a human florist. We're not dating. You're flying outside the hive, talking to humans that attack our homes with power washers and M80s, one eighth of a stick of dynamite. She saved my life, and she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What was that? They call it a crumb. It was so stinging, stripey. And that's not what they eat. That's what falls off what they eat. You know what a cinnamon bun is? No, it's a bread and cinnamon and frosting. They heat it up. Sit down. 
really hot. Listen to me. We are not them. We are us. There's us and there's them. Yes, but who can deny the heart that is yearning? There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You have to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? I gotta start thinking B. How much longer will this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working? I've got a lot of big life decisions to think about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You're barely a bee. Would it kill you to maybe make a little honey? Barry, come out. Your father's talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You coming? Got everything? All set. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be too long. Watch this, Vanessa. We're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. That's because you don't listen. I'm not listening to this. Sorry, I've got to go. Where are you going? I'm meeting a friend. A girl? Is this why you can't decide? Bye. I just hope she's beeish. They have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasadena. To be in the tournament of the roses, that's every florist's dream. Upon up on a float, surrounded by flowers, crowds cheering. A tournament. Do the roses compete in athletic events? No. All right, I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. Yeah. Okay. I see. I see. All right. Your turn. Tivo. You can just freeze live TV. That's insane. You don't have that. We have Hivo, but it's a disease. It's a horrible, horrible disease. Oh my, dumb bees! You must want to sting all those jerks. We try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us. So you have to watch your temper, very carefully. You kick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter and throw it out. Work through it like any emotion: anger, jealousy, lust. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Yeah. What is wrong with you? It's a bug. He's not bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep. What was that? A pick and save circular? Yeah, it was. How do you know? It felt like about ten pages. Seventy-five is pretty much our limit. You've really got that down to a science. I lost a cousin to an Italian Vogue. I'll bet. What in the name of mighty Hercules is this? How did this get here? Cute bee, golden blossom, Ray Liotta, private select. Is he that actor? I never heard of him. Who is this here? Why is this here? For people, we eat it. You don't have enough food of your own. Well, yes. How do you get it? Bees make it. I know who makes it, and it's hard to make it. There's heating, cooling, stirring. You need the whole Krellman thing. It's organic. It's our organic. It's just honey, Barry. Just what? Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, schools, hospitals. This is all we have, and it's on sale. I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all of this. Hey, Hector. You almost done? Almost. He is here. I sense it. Well, I'll. I guess I'll go home now, and just leave this nice honey out with no one around. You're busted, box boy. I knew I heard something. So you can talk. I can talk. And now you'll start talking. Where are you getting this sweet stuff? Who's your supplier? I don't understand. I thought we were friends. The last thing we want is to upset bees. You're too late. It's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, will be lunch for my iguana, Ignacio. Tell me where. Where's the honey coming from? Tell me where. 
Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. Crazy person. What horrible thing has happened here? Those faces. They never knew what hit them, and now they're on the road to nowhere. Just keep still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? They will wipe anything that moves. Where are you headed? To honey farms. I am on to something huge here. I'm going to Alaska. Moose blood, crazy stuff. Blows your head off. I'm going to Tacoma. And you? He really is dead. All right. Uh oh. What is that? Oh no. A wiper. Triple blade. Triple blade? Jump on. It's your only chance, B. Why does everything have to be so doggone clean? How much do you people need to see? Open your eyes. Stick your head out the window. From NPR News in Washington, I'm Carl Kasel. But don't kill no more bugs. B. Moose blood guy. You hear something? Like what? Like tiny screaming. Turn off the radio. What's up, B boy? Hey, blood. Just a row of honey jars, as far as the eye could see. Wow. I assume wherever this truck goes is the where they're getting it. I mean, that honey's ours. Bees hang tight. We're all jammed in. It's a close commodity. Not us, man. We on our own. Every mosquito on his own. What if you get in trouble? You a mosquito? You in trouble. Nobody likes us. They just smack. See a mosquito? Smack, smack. At least you're out in the world. You must meet girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up. Get with a moth, dragonfly. Mosquito girl don't want no mosquito. You got to be kidding me. Moose blood's about to leave the building. So long, B. Hey guys, moose blood. I knew I'd catch y'all down here. Did you bring your crazy straw? We throw it in jars, slap a label on it, and it's pretty much pure profit. What is this place? A bee's got a brain the size of a pinhead. They are pinheads. Pinhead. Check out the new smoker. Oh sweet, that's the one you want. The Thomas Three Thousand. Smoker. Nine puffs a minute, semi-automatic. Twice the nicotine, all the tar. A couple breaths of this knocks them right out. They make the honey, and we make the money. They make the honey, and we make the money. Oh my! What's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. Do you know you're in a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen was moved here. We have no choice. This is your queen. That's a man in woman's clothes. That's a drag queen. What is this? Oh no! There's hundreds of them. Bee honey. Our honey is brazen, being brazenly stolen on a massive scale. This is worse than anything bears have done. I intend to do something. Oh, Barry, stop! Who told you humans are taking our honey? That's a rumor. That's a conspiracy theory. These are ob. These are obviously doctored photos. How do? How did you get mixed up in this? He's been talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? That's crazy. He has a human girlfriend. And they make out, make out, Barry. We do not. You wish you could. Whose side are you on? The bees. I dated a cricket once in San Antonio. Those crazy legs kept me up all night. Barry, this is what you want to do with your life. I want to do it for all our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad. I remember you coming home so overworked; your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop. I remember that. What right do they have to our honey? We live on two cups a year. They put it in lip balm for no reason whatsoever. Even if it's true, what can one bee do? Sting them where it really hurts—in the face, the eye. 
that would hurt. No. Up in the nose? That's a killer. There's only one place you can sting the humans, the one place where it matters. Hive at five, the hive's only full hour action news source. No more bee beards, with Bomb Bum Bob Bumble at the anchor desk. Weather with Storm Stinger, sports with Buzz Larvae, and Jeanette Ohung. Good evening, I'm Bob Bumble, and I'm Jeanette Ohung. A, tri a tri-country bee, Barry Benson, intends to sue the human race for stealing our honey, packaging it, and profita profiting from it illegally. Tomorrow night on Bee Larry King, we'll have these three former queens here on our studio discussing their new book, Classy Ladies, out this week on Hexagon. Tonight we're talking to Barry Benson. Did you ever think... I'm a kid from the hive, I can't do this? Bees have never been afraid to change the world. What about Bee Columbus? Bee Gandhi? Bee Jesus? Where I'm from, we'd never sue humans. We were thinking of stickball or candy stores. How old are you? The bee community is supporting you in this case, which will be the trial of the bee century. You know, they have a Larry King in the human world, too. It's a common name. Next week, he looks like you and has a show and suspenders and colored dots. Next week, glasses, quotes on the bottom from the guest even though you just heard them. Bear week next week, they're scary, hairy, and here live. Always leans forward, pointy shoulders, Squinty eyes, very Jewish. In tennis, you attack at the point of weakness. It was my brother, Ken. She's 81. Quiet, please. Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not going to take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Any work actually going on here? Is that the same bee? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. Hello, bee. Hello. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timberland, size ten and a half. Vibram Soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go because we're really busy working. But it's our yogurt night. Bye-bye. Why is yogurt night so difficult? You poor thing. You two have been at this for hours. Yes, and Adam here has been a huge help. Frosting how many sugars? Just one. I try not to use the competition. So why are you helping me? Bees have good qualities, and it takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloon bouquets now. Those are great if you're three. And artificial flowers. Oh, those just get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Bent stingers, pointless pollination, bees must hate those fake things. Nothing worse than a daffodil that's had work done. Maybe this could make up for it a little bit. This lawsuit's a pretty big deal, I guess. Are you sure you want to sue them? Are you sure you want to go through with it? Am I sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm home without paying a royalty. It's an incredible scene here down in Manhattan where the world anxiously waits because for the first time in history, we will hear for ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. What, what have we gotten into here, Barry? It's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't work during the day. You think a billion dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? Everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. What's the matter? I don't know. I just got a chill. Well, if it wasn't for the B- Well, if it isn't the B team, you boys work on this? All rise. The Honorable Judge Bumbleton is presiding. All right. 
Case number 4475, Superior Court of New York, Barry B. Benson versus the honey industry is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five food companies collectively? A privilege. Mr. Benson, you're representing all bees of the world? I'm kidding. Yes, your honor, we're ready to proceed. Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman. Born on a farm, she believed it was man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God gave put before us. If we lived in the topsy-turvy world Mr. Benson imagines, just think of what it would mean. I would have to negotiate with the silkworm from the elastic of my britches. Talking B. How do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood m wizardry? They could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism, cloning. For all we know, he could be on steroids. Mr. Benson? Ladies and gentlemen, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it. And we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take it from us because we're just the little guys. I'm hoping that after this is all over, you'll see how, by taking our honey, you not only take everything we have, but everything we are. I wish he'd dress like that all the time. So nice. Call your first witness. So, Mr. Klaus van der Heiden of Honey Farms, big company you have. I suppose so. I see you also own Honey Burton and Hanron. Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper. I find that to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ any bee freers, do you? No. I couldn't hear you. No. No. Because you don't free bees, you keep bees. Not only that, it seems like you thought a bear would be an, appro an appropriate image for a jar of honey. They're very lovable creatures. Yogi Bear, Fozzie Bear, Build-A-Bear, you mean like this? Bears kill bees. How do you like his head crashing through your living room, biting into your couch, spitting out your throw pillows? Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Where have I heard it before? I was with a band called The Police. But you've never been a police officer, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so we have yet another example here of bee culture being casually stolen by a human for nothing more than a prance about stage name. Oh, please. Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon M. Sumner? That's not his real name, you idiots. Mr. Lyota, first, belated congratulations on your Emmy win for a guest spot on the ER in 2005. Thank you, thank you. I see from your resume that you're devish, devilishly handsome with a churning inner turmoil that's ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? Not yet it isn't, but is this what's but is this what it's come to for you? Exploiting tiny helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse your part and learn your lines, sir? Watch it, Benson. I could blow you right I could blow right now. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. Why don't why doesn't someone just step on this creep? and we can all go home. Order in the court. You're all thinking it. Order, I say. Order. Say it. Mr. Lyota, please sit down. I think it, would, it was awfully nice of that bear to pitch in like that. 
I think the jury's on our side. Are we doing everything right legally? I'm a florist. Right. Well, here's to our great team. To a great team. Well, hello. Ken, hello. I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but the battery. I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Oh, that was lucky. There's a little left. I could heat it up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. So I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'm not much for the game myself. The ball's a little grabby. That's usually where I sit. Right there. Ken, Barry was looking at your resume, and he agreed with me that eating chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? I know how hard it is to find the right job. We have that in common. Do we? Bees have 100% employment, but we do jobs like taking the crud out. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Ken, I let Barry borrow your razor for his fuzz. I hope that was all right. I'm going to drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know, I just about had it with your little mind games. What's that? Italian Vogue. Mamma mia, that's a lot of pages. A lot of ads. Remember what Van said. Why is your life more valuable than mine? Funny, I can't, I just can't seem to recall that. I think something stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. How do you like the smell of flames? Not as much. Water bug, not taking sides. Ken, I'm wearing a chapstick hat. This is pathetic. I've got issues. Well, well, well. A royal flush. You're bluffing. Am I? Surf's up, dude. Poo water. That bull is gnarly. Except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know, I don't even like honey. I just don't eat it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee. And he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are a few things bugging me in life, and you're one of them. Fine. Talking bees, no yogurt night. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. And for your information, I prefer sugar free artificial sweeteners made by man. I'm sorry about that. I know it's got an aftertaste. I like it. I always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. I couldn't overcome it. Oh well, are you okay for the trial? I believe Mr. Montgomery is all out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Barry Benson B to the stand. Good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah. Leighton, you've got... Leighton, you've got to weave some magic with this jury, or it's gonna be all over. Don't worry. The only thing I have to do is turn this jury around, is to remind them of what they don't like about bees. You got tweezers? Are you allergic? Only to losing, son only to losing. Mr. Benson B, I'll ask you what I think we'd all like to know. What exactly is your relationship to that woman? We're friends. Good friends? Yes. How good? Do you live together? Wait a minute. Are you her little bed bug? I've seen a bee documentary or two. From what I understand, doesn't your queen give birth to all the bee children? Yeah, but... So those aren't your real parents. Oh, Barry. Yes, they are. Hold me back. You're an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees. 
Don't y'all date your cousins? Objection. I'm going to pincushion this guy. Adam, don't. It's what he wants. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, lordy, I am hit. Order, order. The venom, the venom is coursing through my veins. I have been felled by the winged beast of destruction. You see, you can't treat them like equals. They're striped savages. Stinging's the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. What angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from my heaving buttocks? I will have order in this court. Order. Order, please. The case of the honeybees versus the human race took a pointed turn against the bees yesterday when one of their legal team stung Leighton T. Montgomery. Hey, buddy. Hey. Is there much pain? Yeah. I... I blew the whole case, didn't I? It doesn't matter. What matters is you're alive. You could have died. I'm better... I'd be better off dead. Look at me. They got it from the cafeteria downstairs, in a tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery still on it. What was it like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all, all adrenaline and then, and then ecstasy. All right. You think it was all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry. I flew us right into this. What were we thinking? Look at us. We were just a couple of bugs in this world. What will the humans do to us if they win? I don't know. I hear they put the roaches in motels. That doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Oh my. Could you get a nurse to close that window? Why? The smoke. Bees don't smoke. Right. Bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke. But some bees are smoking. That's it. That's our case. It is? It's not over? Get dressed. I gotta go somewhere. Get back to the court and stall. Stall in any way you can. And assuming you've done step correctly, you're ready for the tub. Mr. Flamin. Yes? Yes, your honor? Where is the rest of your team? Well, your honor, it's interesting. Bees are trained to fly haphazardly, and as a result, we don't make very good time. I actually heard a funny story about... Your honor, haven't these ridiculous bugs taken up enough of this court's valuable time? How much longer will we allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? They have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients, who run legitimate businesses. I move from complete dismissal of this entire case. Mr. Flamin, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion. But you can't. We have a terrific case. Where is your proof? Where is your evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Hold it, your honor. You want a smoking gun? Here is your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What, this? This harmless little contraption? This couldn't hurt a fly, let alone a bee. Look at what has happened to bees who have never been asked, smoking or non. This, is this what nature intended for us? To be forcibly addicted to smoke machines and man-made wooden slat work camps? Living out our lives as honey slaves to the white man? What are we going to do? He's playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please, free these bees. Free the bees. Free the bees. Free the bees. Free the bees. This court finds in favor of the bees. Vanessa, we won. I knew you could do it. High five. Sorry. I'm okay. You know what this means? All the honey will finally belong to the bees. 
Now we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy perversion of the balance of nature, Benson. You'll regret this. Barry, how much honey is out there? All right, one at a time. Barry, who are you wearing? My sweater is Ralph Lauren, and I have no pants. What if Montgomery's right? What do you mean? We've been living the B-way a long time, 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory. What will you demand as a settlement? First, we'll demand a complete shutdown of all bee work camps. Then we want back the honey that was ours to begin with every last drop. We demand an end to this glorification of the bear as anything more than a filthy, smelly, bad breath stink machine. We're all aware of what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal. Take him out. He'll have nauseous for a few hours, then he'll be fine and we will no longer tolerate B-negative nicknames, but it's just a prance about stage name, unnecessarily inclusion of honey in bogus health products and la-dee-da human tea time snack garnishments. Can't breathe. Bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it. Mr. Buzzwell, we just passed three cups, and there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down? We've never shut down. Shut down honey production. Stop making honey. Turn your key, sir. What do we do now? Cannonball. We're shutting honey production. Mission abort. Aborting pollination and nectar detail. Returning to base. Adam, you wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh yeah? What's going on? Where is everybody? Are they out celebrating? They're home. They don't know what to do. Laying out, sleeping in. I heard your uncle Carl was on his way to San Antonio with a cricket. At least we got our honey back. Sometimes I think, so what if humans liked our honey? Who wouldn't? The greatest thing in the, it's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be part of making it. This was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted it to work really well. And now, now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their lives would be better. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What did this, what did you want to show me? This. What happened here? This, that is not the half of it. Oh no, oh my, they're all wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No, and whose fault do you think that is? You know, I'm going to guess bees. Bees? Specifically, me. I didn't think that bees not needing to make honey would affect all these things. It's not just flowers, fruits, vegetables, they all need bees. That's our whole SAT test right there. Take away produce that affects the entire animal kingdom. And then, of course, the human population. So if there's no pollination, it could all just go south here, couldn't it? I know this is also partly my fault. How about a suicide pact? How do we do it? I'll sting on, I'll sting you, you step on me. That just kills you twice. Right, right. Listen, Barry, sorry, but I gotta get going. I had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa? Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final tournament of Rose's Parade in Pasadena. They've moved it to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the, la it's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I never meant it to turn out like this. I know. Me neither. 
Tournament of Roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses. Roses? Roses. Vanessa. Roses? Barry. Roses are flowers. Yes, they are. Flowers. B. Pollen. I know. That's why this is the last parade. Maybe not. Could you ask him to slow down? Could you slow down? Barry. Okay, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster. All my fault. Yes, it kind of is. I've ruined the planet. I wanted to help you with the flower shop. I've made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. I thought maybe you were remodeling. But I have another idea, and it's greater than my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. All right, they have the roses, the roses have the pollen. I know every bee, plant, and flower bud in this park. All we gotta do is get what they've got back here with what we've got. Bees, park, pollen, flowers, repollination across the nation. Tournament of Roses, Pasadena, California. They've got nothing but flowers, floats, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom, FTD, official floral business. It's real. Sorry, ma'am. Nice brooch. Thank you. It was a gift. Once inside, we just pick the right float. How about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess, and you could be the pea. Yeah, I got it. Where should I sit? What are you? I believe I'm the pea. The pea? It goes under the mattress. Not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm getting the marshal. You do that. This whole parade is a fiasco. Let's see what this baby'll do. Hey, what are you doing? Then all we, then all we do is blend with, wi then all we do is blend in with traffic without ar arousing suspicion. Once inside the airport, there's no stopping us. Stop security. You and your insect pack, your float. Yes. Has it been in your possession for the entire time? Would you please remove your shoes? Remove the stinger. It's part of me. I know. Just having some fun. Enjoy your flight. Then, if we're lucky, we'll have just enough pollen to do the job. Can you believe how lucky we are? We have just enough pollen to do the job. I think this is gonna work. It's got to work. Attention, passengers. This is Captain Scott. We have a bit of bad weather in New York. It looks like we'll experience a couple hours delay. Barry, these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I gotta get up there to talk to them, and be careful. Can I get help with the Sky Mall magazine? I'd like to order the talking inflatable no nose and ear hair trimmer. Captain, I'm in a real situation. What did you say, Hal? Nothing. B. Don't freak out. My entire species. What are you doing? Wait a minute. I'm an attorney. Who's an attorney? Don't move. Oh, Barry. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. Would a Miss Vanessa Bloom in Twenty Four B please report to the cockpit and please hurry? What happened here? There was a dust buster, a toupee, a life raft exploded. One's bald, one's in a boat. They're both unconscious. Is that another bee joke? No, no one's flying the plane. This is JFK Control Tower, Flight Three Five Six. What's your status? This is Vanessa Bloom. I'm a florist from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious, and so is the co-pilot. Not good. Does anybody on board have flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? Barry Benson, from the Honey Trial. Oh, great. Vanessa, 
This is nothing more than a big metal bee. It's got giant wings, huge engines. I can't fly a plane. Why not? Isn't John Travolta a pilot? Yes. How hard could it be? Wait, Barry. We're headed into some lightning. This is Bob Bundle. Bumble. We have some late breaking news from JFK Airport, where a suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh from his legal victory, that's Barry, is attempting to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and an inca incapacitated flight crew. Flowers? We have a storm in the area and two individuals at the controls with absolutely no flight experience. Just a minute, there's a bee on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson and his no-account compadres. They've done enough damage. But isn't he your only hope? Technically, a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. Their wings are too small. Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface area of the wings and body mass makes no sense. Get this on the air. Got it. Stand by. We are going live. The way we work may be a mystery to you. Making honey takes a lot of bees doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. If you do it well, it makes a big difference. More than we realized. To us, to everyone. That's why I want to get bees back to working together. That's the bee way. We are not made of jello. We got we get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. Left, right, down, hover. Hover? Forget hover. This isn't so hard. Beep beep. Beep beep. Barry, what happened? Wait, I think we were on autopilot the whole time. That may have been helping me, and now we're not. So, it turns out I cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's get behind this fellow. Move it out. Move out. Our only chance is if I do what I do, and you copy me with the wings of the plane. Don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We're in a lot of trouble. It's very hard to concentrate with that panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I can't do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. You have to snap out of it. You snap out of it. You snap out of it. You snap out of it. Hold it. Why? Come on. It's my turn. How is the plane flying? I don't know. Hello? Benson, got any flowers for a happy occasion in there? The pollen jocks. They do get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. All right, let's drop this tin can on the blacktop. Where? I can't see anything. Can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on. You got to think B, Barry. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Wait a minute. I think... I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. It's strong, pulling me, like a 27 million year old instinct. Bring the nose down. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. What in the world is going, what in the world is on the tarmac? Get some lights on that. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. Vanessa, aim for the flower. Okay, out on the engines. We're going in on B power. Ready, boys? Affirmative. Good. Good. Easy now. That's it. Land on that flower. Ready? Full reverse. Spin it around. Not that flower. The other one. Which one? That flower. I'm aiming at the flower. That's a fat guy in a flowered shirt. I mean that giant pulsating flower made of millions of bees. Pull forward. Nose down. Tail up. Rotate around it. This is insane, Barry. This is the only way I know how to fly. Am I cuckoo kachu, or is this plane flying in an insect-like pattern? 
Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid. Smell it. Full reverse. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop in. Drop it in, woman. Come on already. Barry, we did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes, no high five. Right. Barry, it worked. Did you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Where? Of course I saw the flower. That was genius. Thank you, but we're not done yet. Listen, everyone. This runway is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers any available anywhere on Earth. This means that this is our last chance. We're the only ones who make honey, pollinate flowers, and dress like this. If we're gonna survive as a species, this is our moment. What do you say? Are we going to be bees or just Museum of Natural History keychains? We're bees. Keychain. Then follow me. Except keychain. Hold on, Barry. Here. You've earned this. Yeah. I'm a pollen jock, and it's a perfect fit. All I gotta do are the sleeves. Oh, yeah. That's our Barry. Mom, the bees are back. If anybody needs to make a call, now's the time. I've got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. Here's your change. Have a great afternoon. Can I help who's next? Would you like to have some honey with that? It's, it is bee approved. Don't forget these. Milk, cream, cheese, it's all me. And I don't see a nickel. Sometimes I feel like a piece of meat. I had no idea. Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Will you excuse me? My mosquito associate will help you. Sorry I'm late. He's a lawyer too? I was already a blood-sucking parasite. All I needed was a briefcase. Have a great afternoon. Barry, I just got this huge tulip order, and I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Vanny. Just leave it to me. You're a lifesaver, Barry. Can I help who's next? All right, scramble, jocks. It's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. That bee is living my life. Let it go, Kenny. When will the nightmare end? Let it all go. B beautiful day to fly. Sure is. Between you and me, I was dying to get out of that office. You have got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B, me? Hold it. Let's just stop for a second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Can we stop here? I'm not making a major life decision during a production number. All right, take 10, everybody. Wrap it up, guys. I had virtually no rehearsal for that.